They measure up on the tail of the tape. The 22-year-old Morrison, 6'2", 221 and three quarters. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Tommy the Duke. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Merciless Ray Burson. Merciless Morrison, you already got your instructions in the dressing room, all right? Give me a good clean fight and I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands and most important, protect yourself at all times. Check hands and good luck to the both of you. Get it underway. This is the longest time between the two fights. And how about Ray Mercer? Ray Mercer defending his title. He is also trying to run through his fight plan and try to establish control early for both of these heavyweights. These two fighters have combined for 20 defensive wins, so you know there will be openings. And it is most fight there at 100 percent. You know, and I have fought in the past with injuries. When you go into a ring without an injury, it's an unusual feeling. No, no, no. Pushing behind the head with Mercer, just trying to take Morrison out of it. It's the referee said. Oh, big Good shot combination. by Morrison, who wants to do it early. He has never been beyond six, and he doesn't want to go to the later rounds. Morrison coming on, and Mercer could be in trouble in the first round. coming back. Now Morrison had a G you would love to see Morrison punch himself out early. Ray Mercer won the gold medal at Seoul at the age of 27. The oldest member of the 88 Olympic has more to lose in this head to head with Morrison at the age now of 30. Good followed by the left hook. Here is a, another shot of that punch. A great combination because the one shot is referring to everything he does as we. It's certainly teamwork as far as Morrison's concerned. Training hard for this fight. And the Duke must be very careful not to waste those shots in the air. It is a professional career. Big in that fight. And in the ninth round, knocked out Damiani. That had and a great chin. And there's the uppercut testing the chin. But Morrison feels that Mercer is a one-dimensional fighter and hasn't really improved much from his day. He says you don't knock Mercer out with one or two shots. You have to make him quit. And so far, it has been Morrison big in the first two rounds. 12 in his perfect 17 and 0 record. Good left hook again by Morrison. A quick flash left hook. Now the one from Mercer to put the punches together and come up the middle like Morrison did right there. And that uppercut may have split. That's the same problem he had in the Damiani fight. The lower lip was cut. Again, right on it. Third round, Morrison teeing off on Mercer. Mercer, a little peekaboo, one minute into the third round. One of the questions was what would happen if Morrison got in trouble. It'll take two punches in order to land one of his own. He knows he's got some power. Mercer has gone 12 on a couple occasions. Jim Morrison in the other divisions ranks between 8 and 12. In the WBA, BC, and the IBM. Now Mercer has put him about the same place that Tommy is, 8 to 12. And there's a big right by Mercer. They don't want the Ray to get, to get hit as much. They want him to move a little bit more so he doesn't take so many shots. And now Mercer puts a couple of weights together. Remember, he left Morrison with a right hand as a gift to end the third round. The title. But these two fighters uh, have the proper perspective. They know the winner goes on and gets in line for some possible major paydays. Big for good professionals. The fight starts after three. A good left up cut the ball. So for Mercer, he's just trying to get everything going the first three round. Tommy Morrison is hurt. After the sixth round. Fourth round action. Mercer turned it around that round with heavy shots like this. Good punches from him. Mercer made it pay for it. Mercer says he's packed more experience into his 17 pro fights than Morrison has in his 27.
his hands started coming down in this fourth and fifth round. Down come the hands, tying up more, showing the effects. His mouth is wide open, a tired fighter, and all it was was easy pickings for Ray Mercer. Here he is just connected with shots, unanswered punches, out on his feet and hurt is Tommy the Duke Morrison. A lot of shots from Merciless Ray Mercer. Referee let that one go a little bit too long. A too many punches. Here it is again. The heavy shots from Mercer. The combination. Morrison is trying to tie up but just can't do it. Tony Perez needs to step in. That's all. That's enough. Oh. Tony Perez laid it.